All right, in today's video, we're gonna finish boxing up all the tegus, and I'm right about to show you guys a new tegu that we have in our breeding lineup. You guys are gonna love them. And we also, our Black Friday sale is still going on. Go check it out, link in the description. Let's get into it. You got a crazy pair that really, whoa. So recently I went to NARBC and I vended with Zach uh, from Sacred Geckos and Exotics. Okay, so we get there, we're unboxing our animals. He's got some incredible geckos, like crested geckos that are just out of this world. And he also has some amazing tegus. He pulls out one and I'm like, oh, I, you know, I don't even have one of those yet. I was like, those, definitely on my list to get that that guy looks awesome and he just handed it to me he's like here take them and I was like wait what no way because these are not this is not a cheap tegu right anytime I'm thinking about getting one I'm like oh but think of the enclosures I can build instead and I just talk myself out of it and so Zach handed me this guy and he's deep in shed he's got a winter coat all over him but He's tame as can be. Zach spent a lot of time working with him. What you're looking at right here is a pure red albino male. Okay, so this guy, absolutely gorgeous. He's already got some good size on him. And next spring, when you guys see him shed, you're gonna freak out. And just watching these guys grow and develop is amazing. They go from like this pink color to a fire red the males do and the females are just gorgeous the red albinos so this is gonna be the future of red albinos at rose city reptiles and it all started with extreme generosity from zach at sacred geckos and exotics i have his links down below he made this possible and I, i'm so appreciative and just look at this beautiful male so i need to get a red albino female and maybe a het uh, red albino female i need to get some stuff for this guy i also i have some another idea for him as well i'll have to show you guys that in the future but here he is i need a good name for him so make sure drop a comment down below what would be a good name for this pure red albino male super tame this guy, I already know he's gonna be one of the favorites on the channel. He's he's awesome, he has a great personality. Right now he kinda just wants to get down. But, awesome Tegu, check him out. He's awesome, so. So yeah, and, and he's only a year old. This He's a baby, he's gonna get much, much bigger. So, so yeah. What would be a good name for this guy? Oh. What what would be a good name? I don't know. Help me help me out down in the comments. So we're gonna box him up. Next time we see him, he will be shedding this winter coat and transforming next spring. So and he'll have a name by then. So <laughs> all right, all right, dude. You ready? Let's do it. So gorgeous male we've got some big plans for him next season with that one of those females i showed you guys earlier so and this is him fired down going into brumation in breeding season this guy literally glows blue completely glows so outstanding one of the best blue males here we have some beautiful babies available from him some 100% heads and some albinos. This guy proved out, so definitely staying here this year for next year. All right, now that the Black Widow's out of the way, let's get in here. This one has a pointy plant. Ouch. I'm gonna get that out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look how gorgeous she is. Look at those eyes. Beautiful albino female. This is what those 
when those albinos are a little bit darker pigment, this is how they end up turning out. You can still see her bars and her sidebars. She's got some color on her chin. You guys see that? Really, really, really pretty female, beautiful. And she produced this year and we have some albinos who look just like her. We have some that came out with more color. You know, the ones with the black on their head? Look at her head. See those black freckles on her head? This is their mom. So just beautiful. So, so yeah, really nice female going into brumation. This one's a little bit flighty until I get my hands on her, then she realizes it's all okay. Typically, let's see how she is today. Get her yellow, oh my God. She's just gorgeous. I love albinos. Look at this girl's color. Just. You guys see this? Look how gorgeous she is. Just insanely beautiful. Oh, I love it. All that yellow. Yellow, black, and white. Yes, please. Amazing. I come in peace, man. He's seriously, he's like one of the easily, easiest handling tegus we have, but when you wake him up, he does not like being woken up. Hey buddy, come here. Group J, this is the male right here. Beautiful male. We produced some incredible babies. I kept a few, he's been sleeping for a while now. Breeding season, this guy was glowing blue. He's, he's beautiful. Get some good shots of him, he deserves it. So yeah, we produced some amazing babies. We got some in some good breeders' hands. And so yeah. All right, before he freaks out on us. All right, this next male performed extremely well. He ended up being het for albino and both females we bred him to were het. So, produced lots of albino tegus from this male right here. He is gorgeous, gorgeous. Blue male, I uh, can't remember what number, but he's group I. I like his pattern, he's got like a... Shattered pattern. Yeah, he's really pretty, so. See this female? She's nice. Get this up for me. Got one there. I'm gonna get this female. What's on me? Oh god, a big spider. Oh jeez. Where'd it go? I don't know, but it was big and <laughs> furry looking. That big thing. Yeah, I felt something crawling on me. I was like, there's something on me. Watch out. He's trained. Go ahead. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. He literally just crawled in there <laughs> on his own. <laughs> He's like, walking. get out of my enclosure, I'll bite your feet. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, let me just. <laughs> he was walking just, in there. I know what you're here for. Yeah. All right, albino male. We got two clutches from this guy and some beautiful females. Let's see if I can get this girl without going in there. Come on. Come on. I'm tired. Another beauty bred to that albi albino male. She ended up proving out to be het. So we produced some beautiful albinos from her. Gorgeous. Look at that boy. Does that pick up on camera? Yeah, it is actually. He's gorgeous. And which we didn't get eggs from him this year. 
So this is another one that we will get eggs from next season, but we didn't this year. So we bred him to a female that looks exactly like him. Same pattern, same blue. Blue female, this is from group A right here. Yeah, this, this group was incredible. Hi, Sam. Gorgeous, right? Oh my gosh. They just don't like being woken up, but just beautiful. But there's, oh gosh, there's fire ants everywhere. Okay, ready? Oh my god. She's one of the best females we got. She's just gorgeous. I say that a lot. She's, she's seriously so pretty. She's another one that we will be producing with next season. Top notch. Oh, I thought she, oh, oh, oh. oh. I thought she was about to be easy going, but she's not. <laughs> Gorgeous. Now we did produce with her that really, whoa. Oh, All right, that albino male and her, that's who we bred. All right, give me, so she's 100% het for albino. There we go. Maybe she'll go in there like that one. See her? We got her crazy. Here, you wanna bite this? She's not feeling it. That was the feistiest one of the day. Right there, let me make sure she's... Oh, her tail's just in there, just... Don't she get is... Fight. Yeah, big, like, the feistiest <laughs> one. That's funny. She's actually one of my favorite females. All right. Blue female 21, group J. Beautiful, some of you guys got babies from her this season. Stunner, I kept, I don't know how many we're keeping. <laughs> I've got at least a couple. I might be keeping a few from her and the beautiful male. Silver on her face. She's just incredible. She's a beauty. Really kind of a darker female, but really nice blues on her. She's also het for albino. So she produced some beautiful albinos this season. Absolutely stunner. So, but she is a, uh, why didn't you get away? See her looking up? All right, away. let's get her in this tub. Can you help me out with this, Tony? All right, here's one of our juvenile blue males. This guy just turned a year old this season. During the season, he was actually like one of the bluest tegus here, even though he's young. So I can't wait to see him next season. We may even breed him next season. He ended up staying here because he had this big nip tail and we've had him on the site for a little bit nobody bought him then i was like you know what let's keep him so he has a really good personality but he's also just gorgeous you guys see this and that's him fired down when he fires up during breeding season he is so bright blue insane and the next one here's one of our albinos that we kept that we got from hector so there's got a really orange belly she's just gorgeous you guys see the color of that does that pick up on camera a little bit yeah it's like a rainbow this thing's awesome blue and yellow this is a pure blue tegu this is a male we had on the site but again one with his uh nip tails we kept him and now he's looking <laughs> incredible so he's staying here future breeder he's a year old now we'll breed him in a couple of years next probably not next year but the year after just amazing and then this one is actually his sister there was obviously someone in their clutch uh, biting tails off so same reason for her she stayed here because of that tail nip and 
but we're glad we have her because look how gorgeous she is. She's just gorgeous. So, don't want to get that tail in there. <laughs> All right, just like that, you guys, we've got the tegus packed up. Whew, what a day. <laughs> I am, I'm tired, scraped up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm already excited about unboxing them next spring <laughs> and doing this again. But uh, yeah, this wraps up another season, putting the tegus away into brumation. Let me know what we should name that red albino male, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.